Okay, so let's get started with this class. In this video, I will show you uh, some things that maybe will help you get uh, moving, moving forward with the class. Uh, this uh, first week is sort of an introduction uh, to the class itself, uh, just to check to see that you have the proper equipment, that you have what you need, that you let us know if you need any help. If at any point I mention some software uh, that you don't have, or if your computer is not working properly, or it's not uh, powerful enough to do what you need to uh, to do to achieve a success in the class, please let your instructor know as soon as possible. Um, let's start with the introduction. This is a discussion board link. There will be several in discussions in this class. Uh, it's easy to follow uh, the assignments once uh, you are in the week that uh, you are working on, in this case week one where we get started, uh, you will see a list of assignments and you can tell assignments from just regular um, announcements. For example, this four word why learn programming is just something for you to read. Uh, this may be discussed later in another question for a discussion. Uh, but you'll see that there's a uh, an icon that looks like a document. This is something to read. Where the icon looks like uh, it, like a piece of paper with a pencil and a ruler, this means that this is an assignment. If you see something like this, is a, a little bit different. This is actually a link. Just follow the directions. Click on the name of the link or assignment to get started uh, with the content. In this case, let's start with the first one, introduction. I'll click on it. It takes me to the discussion board where we ask you to introduce yourself. There is, are already some people that have uh, uh, completed the assignment or participated. In order for you to get started, you can click on Create Thread and uh, just follow the directions on what it is that we need you to discuss. Uh, just a long story short, we're asking you to introduce yourself. Who are you? Include some vocational and educational goals. What do you want to uh, do with uh, your studies? What else do you want to study when you complete this class? Are you thinking about college? Uh, what do you expect from this course? What do you What do you think you're going to be learning? And more importantly, what do you want to learn? What is one thing that really interests you about application programming? When you signed up for this class, you thought maybe oh, I want to program a game. I want to program a new application that will uh, take care of my taxes, things like that. Uh, what else would you like us to know about yourself, such as favorite pastimes and hobbies, etc.? Don't give too much information on this. Uh, by that I mean don't I, we don't need to know about personal. Uh, situations that you don't want to share with the rest of the class. Just hey, I really like uh, I really like video games. I I like Fortnite. I whatever it is that that you uh, like that is okay to share with other people. Uh, and what your life goals may be. What do you want to be when you grow up? The famous question that I'm sure lots of you are hearing at about this time in your life. Uh, when you're done with the uh, with adding your message below, uh, just click on submit and then it will be posted to the bulletin where your classmates will be able to see it. More importantly, your instructor will see it and give you a grade. I can't hit submit because I have uh, a, uh, I am a faculty member and we can't submit assignments. I'll go back on the left here to lessons and assignments and I'll go back into week one where I was. Acknowledgement of syllabus, and although the uh, verbiage here says that you should write this in Word, if you have Word, if you have Notepad, anything where you can just get a little file going, that would work great. Uh, the easiest way to get this assignment done, click on the name of the assignment. Scroll below, what we just want is basically to acknowledge that you have read the syllabus for this class. So what is the syllabus? The syllabus, there is a link on the left side. It's basically, it uh, tells you more about the class. It, uh, if there were nothing available, uh, you wouldn't be able to see this link right here. Uh, check the attachment above. It's this ITSC 2410-52401 for this class. You may be watching in a different class, but here I will click on the PDF link. And it will open up a syllabus that gives information about the instructor and gives information about 
the course requirements, etc. It tells you how your grades will be calculated. It tells you when they're due, uh, what they're called, etc. We just want you to be familiar with this. Once you're done reading it, uh, then what you can do is in the assignment itself, let me go back to syllabus and count. Actually, that's where it just was. I'll go back uh, to uh, lessons and assignments. Go into week one, where I was, and acknowledgement of syllabus. I'm going to copy this information. It says name, your name, etc. I'm, I'm right clicking on my mouse and tell it to copy. Scroll below and there is a place where it says write submission. So basically this opens up a little editor. This is sort of like, it works like Word. It works like a, like a text editor. I'll click here and press Control V as in Victor uh, to paste and I'll keep the formatting. It's fine. And where it says name, your name, you can replace it with your name. And I'll just put in here, John Doe, whatever your name is. Be sure that you type it there. Spring 2021 is the current um, semester, so I'll leave that there. Course name, the class that I'm submitting this for is iOS programming. If you're in a different class, change the name to whatever class you're assigning, you're uh, turning this in for. Course number, same thing. It should be the one posted at the very top left here. This one is ITSC 2410. The next number is the uh, section number, and that's fine here. And then just make sure that you agree with this. I have read the syllabus and understand what is required of me, and I have had the opportunity to ask the instructor questions about the syllabus. If you have questions about the syllabus, before you click Submit, make sure that you have those questions answered. Once that happens, click Submit and you will receive a grade for participation. I move back to the previous window. I'll scroll to create a REPL it account. And uh, this class will uh, uh, require a REPL it account. And uh, there will be an additional video for this class in particular. If you're looking at this video from another class, uh, there may be different requirements. So make sure that uh, you see uh, that uh, you follow the directions on the videos in your class. If you have any questions, contact your instructor. Thank you.